This is Cybert signing in to the pleasant views and the beautiful scenery of Autumn Garden for these delightful fall colors and presumably a ton of explosions as well. Welcome to a five player FFA in General's Evolution as the Blue China Nuke. This is Cloud. We'll see if he performs a bit better as China Nuke than some of the other folks that we have seen playing that faction. As the regular old USA and playing as the Dark Rad, this is Spam. I think his actual name is like Spamalot Alt F4 or something. So uh, we'll see how he does if he's able to get the other people in this game to Alt F4. And playing also as USA and as a different shade of red. Yeah, I know. As the USA Super Weapons General, this is Minordo. And continuing on the clock, as the yellow China nuke once again, this is Genevo. This guy's name is literally just the name of the mod, General's Evolution, and then playing as the Mint Green, which is quite on point, as the GLA Toxin, this is EA. All right, so we have got two China nukes, one USA, one USA super weapon, and then a GLA tox. And we've seen this map before in version 0.21 of General's Evolution, and this is version 0.3. Lots of new units, lots of new changes, and lots of new interactions. We are just going to see how the madness goes. It looks like it's going to be starting off with a Gatling tank in the north. By the way, big thanks to Sigoro for sending me these replays. And, uh, you know, very kind of him to not just include stuff what that he played, but also some games that don't include him as all. Although I guess he could actually be the Gen Evo player. <laughs> that would be something if a developer just played under the name of their own mod. And of course, if you want to download Gen Evo, the link will be in the description. A couple of Crusaders. Now, of course, this is not General's Zero Hour. This doesn't play like General's Zero Hour. A lot of this stuff doesn't function like General's Zero Hour. And one way that you can tell is, of course, the fact that there are Crusaders in the game, that a, and a, that a USA player builds tanks and not just rock Vs all day long. So some things are better, some things are worse, and it does not play like competitive zero hour for sure. And I don't know what Gen Evo is doing. He crossed the map entirely with this Gatling tank, so he is going on a scout deep into enemy territory. He's going to be taking a look at this propaganda center. Now, we did see a very explosive 2v2 in which one China nuke player never got the stabilizing isotope upgrade, which you can get. Oh, actually, it's right there. Isotope stability, 2,000 credits, one minute to research, and that is a pretty essential upgrade that you can get to make your nuclear battle masters less demolition trucks, at least to your own units. I believe they still do the same damage to enemy units, but they don't do damage to your units. Armadillo Outpost coming up here to expand onto the low ground and also up here. I think you can expand onto the low ground. I know in Red Alert 3 you have to have uh, another structure down there to breach a change of terrain like that. I'm not actually sure how it is for Gen Evo. Lots of missile defenders over here on the left side of the map, and this engineer is going to capture. There is still quite a long time to capture. And what? Okay, well, that was that was pretty horrific. Uh, those MiGs just absolutely dumpstering those infantry units with a pretty gory splat as well, which, uh, I don't know, maybe that'll affect whether this video gets monetized or not as this tank does explode and nicely done there by spam he pulls his tanks away so clearly that was a very intentional kill of that battle master and i assume he does now have isotope stability and uh well i assume gen evo has that as well i would hope that he's got that going on supply center takes a strike from the migs ea expanding out towards the middle of the map as well everybody happy to play it a little calm and a little cautious for the first couple of minutes 
of this game. Couple of nuclear overlords here for Cloud. Outpost is here. And well, there goes three missile defenders as this Gatling cannon is going to make it a bit more difficult for Minordo to take that section of the map. Another missile defender does go down. And well, the Guardians will be able to take down that outpost. EA is sort of just expanding on his own. I don't think anyone's really paying too much attention to him. He might come into contest with Cloud relatively soon. By the way, there's a pretty close expansion here for Gen Evo to take. Could get a third base or a third refinery up and running relatively quickly. A uh, third supply center, I guess, is, uh, you know, should probably use the terms instead of just referring to my Tiberium Wars and Red Alert standards. Couple of tanks coming out. There is a nuclear overlord here to defend, so we'll see how four or five paladins do against that, or guardians, excuse me, against this nuclear overlord. Missile defenders are here as well to deal with that Gatling cannon, and for the moment, finally, Gen Evo has been pushed back. The mids are coming in. I don't think they have the Firestorm upgrade just yet, but they do eventually clean up most of those missile defenders, and actually almost all of the Guardians as well do go down. So only one Guardian left, a little bit too close to those oil derricks. You gotta be careful about those oil derricks exploding your units. And a nuke cannon! We finally do get to see it in version 0.3. Cleaning up that tunnel network, just making it go disappeared as we do also finally have an ECM making its way onto the battlefield. So we are actually seeing a lot of the new units here that were added in version 0.3. EA might be losing this expansion. His entire army has pretty much fallen to the vicious forces of Cloud's China nuke. And uh, well, that oh, a nuclear overlord, let's see if it actually does go nuclear. No, it's definitely a bit more tame until right there. Okay, so it does go nuclear as well. Nuke Cannon is firing some shots, deleting whatever that was from the map. And this Oil Derrick taking a bit of a beating. EA having a bit of a strafe as Warthogs take a shot at his forces. And finally, the Supply Center does go down. One lonely RPG Trooper makes it through the defenses of Cloud and snipes that Nuke Cannon. Cloud's attack falling apart in front of his very eyes. And the first super weapon has been deployed. And this is the kind of action that we are all looking for. A couple of scuds. I think they're going to miss their mark a little bit too slow to the crash as those overlords speed away. I think they might have that speed upgrade. What is the nuclear speed upgrade call? I do forget some of these upgrades. The ECM deflecting some of those missiles. Still low power mode for the current moment for Gen Evo. More missile defenders getting cleaned up. And these nuclear overlords trying to cut and run, get away from the front line. Everyone just kind of trading blows back and forth, left and right. And actually, it does feel like Spam a lot is the one who has mostly been avoiding the fight. Although, as I say that, he's actually bringing the fight quite concretely to Minordo. And if he could clear out this section of the map, he could actually take both of these ore mines, these supply centers for himself. There isn't a whole lot of cash left here, but there is, there is enough that it would be worth it. We do get to see the new Mammoth coming once again back into action, and Minordo is sort of feeding his units into this meat grinder. Not exactly a pro-level strategic move as the infantry just get deleted by that microwave tank and the buildings getting shut down, the war factory and the command center. This is a very well executed attack here by Spam and he is looking to alt F for this guy out of the game. My brother used to say uh, control alt delete for any time you would delete something, which of course it's funny because control alt delete doesn't do that, but that was just a little joke and this guy's like, Alt F4ing other people out of the map, which of course would just cancel your own game. But on this particular case, he's gonna just completely remove his opponent and oh, these uh, infantry just literally dying as soon as they spawn in. 
Migs are here. EA trying to break into the base of Gen Evo, trying to shut down Generals for the second time. EA, actually, it is kind of perfect that EA is right next to Gen Evo, and I guess we could all cheer for Gen Evo to be the one that survives the night. Cloud now turning against Spam and may actually force Spam to call off his attack. Spamalot is trying to kill off Menordo, but Menordo is uh, just resisting a little bit too much. Spamalot had to reroute his forces elsewhere to defend his main base and that completely shut down his attack meanwhile cloud now finally turns north heading potentially for ea's base and Minordo just unable to do anything here scud launchers four of them here on the front line ready to do battle with this chinese army as it moves through the middle of the map and this feels a lot more like of an active game i, I think i like the layout and the development of this map it tends to be maybe a little bit more practical for these games not just turning into choke hold spam fests i think the additional routes in an ffa you know the fact that you can swing into the middle of the map and aircraft can play perhaps a bigger role and you can hit guys on either side of you that all sort of has an effect on how these how this game tends to play out but maybe we'll get caught down into a little bit more of a choke point here as the Emperor's Rage fires off there, this ECM starting to lock down that Scorpion, and the new cannon is gonna do what it can to deal with the Scud, and that is going to be not quite enough, but the MiGs come in, they clear out one Scud, a second Scud gets eliminated, and Cloud is just crushing through the army of EA. He saw EA going for Gen Evo, and he said, no, I will defend the mod that we love. Quad cannons coming in around as the reinforcements head in for Cloud, trying to cut through the toxins of this GLA player. The MiGs making a second pass, trying to take down that War Factory and cut off the reinforcements. EA with more and more Scuds coming in from the back is trying to shut down this attack, but the Scuds just aren't landing their hits. The Nuclear Overlord is too fast as he tears through three. Now four of the Scud launchers, one after the other, unscathed by their giant missiles and Cloud is just tearing through the forces of EA. I don't know that he'll actually have enough to finish off the base, but he is making short work of these quads. And of course, the buildings don't leave tunnel networks behind, unfortunately, for EA, but he does push back this base. And these overlords have been defeated. The multi-war factory really coming in clutch there for EA. He was able to survive the night. He was able to hold off the attack, but now suddenly Gen Evo might be coming for him at the same time. Cloud and Gen Evo both attacking EA in turn, or at least the expansion of EA. Cloud might actually, or Gen Evo might just want to take this expansion for himself. Still has seven grand left there, so that's a bit of cash, not as much as you might like, but the secondary economies coming online for pretty much everyone. It feels like Cloud is really starting to outshine some of these other players just in the amount of stuff that he's got on the map. If it comes down to a base trade, if it comes down to swapping buildings, it might be quite difficult to clean up Cloud. There's the radar scan to reveal these mines that just got dropped in. A lot of Guardians have been rebuilt by Minordo. He has kind of repositioned himself there. And it's going to be Nuke versus Nuke as these MiGs come in for a couple of passes. Concentrated fire coming through for Cloud. He knows exactly how to hit these nuclear overlords, and he takes them down one after another. Very nicely done there. Very carefully executed with those MiGs to completely push back Gen Evo. EA has absolutely survived the night, and with the amount of additional income that he's got from those black markets, he is looking pretty solid. This is uh, sort of dark, musty red coming in and infringing on the position of the bright red Minordo. Looks like maybe one of the black markets going down there as the artillery barrage touches down. Mines haven't totally been cleaned up here. Cloud may have bigger things to worry about here as Spamalot lives up to his name and mounts a huge army 
to head forward, but the microwave tanks can't hold off this force forever. The Guardians should be able to deal with the microwaves and these buildings relatively easily, and then it'll be just up to these King Raptors, or these regular Raptors, to deal with this army. Spam needs to do something if he wants to hold this position. He's got the supply center there, but no trucks. And he's just uh, locking down that supply center over there on the right with 10 grand left inside of it. Spam turns his entire army around, so he lays off of attacking Cloud, and he instead turns around to run his entire army around the terrain of this map. Minordo comes forward. Guardian tanks are here. Raptors... Not a big AOE weapon like some of the other aircraft are in this game. Monordo closing in as Spam's car, uh, Crusaders close in from the north. A small contingency of his army steps forward and gets absolutely crushed by Monordo. But this is just the first wave. Spam's real forces are down here along the south side. As EA steps forward, Scorpions... And actually, we do have a nuke ready to go, so this army might get deleted if Gen Evo calls in the nuke here. Two additional nukes ready to go on the other side, or one additional nuke, and then two more four minutes away from Cloud. We'll see where the nukes start popping off as a couple of rebels trying to make their way into the base. And the nuke has been fired. Where will it land as this army is looking for the big damage? And that nuke finds its mark, deleting the forces of EA. Absolutely vicious as... Genevo goes for the throat, bringing everything that he has to bear against the forces of, LA, of EA. He is bringing him down and attacking through the front door. Triple nuke cannons to defeat the buggies off to the left. Rocket buggies are no match for this kind of firepower. Genevo will crush through the base of EA, and EA is going to have to find another spot to make his home. Genevo pulls back, though retreating from the front line, not deciding to go for the throat and kill absolutely everything. He's left one war factory and one and a couple of black markets as well. Nuke cannons finding their mark. Cloud ready to start laying waste to his opponents. And it looks like on the south side, the Tomahawk missiles are starting to work their way through the base of Minordo. It looks like EA and Minordo might be our first two out of this FFA. Cloud repositioning towards the middle of the map, calling off the attack. And unfortunately for Genevo, he was so close to knocking out EA, but he's a little bit scared of Cloud. Minordo has been defeated. So Spam gets the first kill of the game taking down the other USA player. I guess in this case, there can only be one, and maybe in the terms of GLA, there can only be none. As <laughs> What was that? The nuke lands and cleans up every single one of those nuke cannons. Genevo finding the damage against the war factory and finally killing off. Is that it? Is that it for EA? I think EA might actually be out of this game now. He did manage to get another command center up, so he is building that currently. He does have a chance to come back in this game. His production is not going to be nearly what it was, but he will have the opportunity to stay alive in this match. Anthrax bomb coating the area, going to be able to clean up these nuke cannons, and unfortunately for Cloud, he sort of moves in at the wrong moment. Lands a killer shot on that nuclear overlord. MiGs coming in. The firestorm is ready. The nuke fires off. And it looks like Cloud has found his mark. The firestorm goes elite. And this nuclear missile gets burned down. Gen Evo getting devastated by his fellow China nuke player. And EA survives the day keeping on like a parasite in the north, just hugging the very top edge of the map. Somewhat surprisingly, Spamalot has not just taken over the base 
of Monordo. I mean, a couple of these are depleted, but there's still 20,000 real credits there to be gathered as the China forces clash here. Yellow versus blue and nukes absolutely everywhere as Cloud closes in on the forces of Gen Evo. It won't be EA who kills Gen Evo. It will be Cloud coming in to behead the yellow China player. Devastation reigns and MiGs will not have a place to reclaim their missiles. Man, those nuke MiGs are just vicious with their damage output. And the base of EA of Gen Evo is awash with flame. The command center goes down. The war factory is eliminated and the airfield will be the next to fall. The internet centers get taken down one by one and the forces of cloud spreading out. But a fresh nuke is ready to fire off, I think, against the forces of Minordo or of Spam as his army gets deleted and just nuked out of existence there. One expansion will not stand but most of the army has been defeated. Gen Evo with not much left. Another nuke fires off. Devastating the base of Spam. He's got two particle cannons ready to go. I'm assuming there's supposed to be a uh, some kind of strike to finish that off. Gen Evo has been defeated there, finally comes through. So EA has survived Gen Evo, but of course EA did not kill Gen Evo. Particle Cannon finds its mark. Two internet centers, maybe three getting eliminated there as the army of Spam is chopped to bits by these choppers. Apparently the left side of the map was not a good place to spawn into as uh, this is so many helixes and coming in with the carpet bombing as well. Let's see if he can finish off those particle cannons that he did so much damage to. He takes out a war factory. He goes for the particle cannon as well, but not the damaged one. He gets one war factory. He doesn't hit this, these particle cannons down here, which are half health. He might, have, he might have been able to take them out, I'm not 100% sure. Mammoth tanks, Avengers, and Crusaders all mixed together. Even some Tomahawks getting in on the action. And I think it's going to be a cluster mine on top of this army trying to take out the Tomahawks. And they drive right over those mines, caring not for their own personal safety. And instead, just trying to lure the army in here into the base so the Raptors can deal with them, perhaps. But no, the Tomahawks are still firing at the mines and Cloud is just rolling over the base of Spam. So many particle cannons, but now low power mode and targeting those cold fusion reactors. Cloud is finding the way to shut down this USA super weapons general who never escaped out to the side, who never took over the main base of Minordo. So many helixes, a carpet bombing coming in from Spam. He's going to try and clear out his base. He's going to try and defeat this army with the help of some one clicks, but it's not enough. Every single particle cannon offline, every single particle cannon wishing that it could fire off to remove this army. EA survives along the north side of the map. Anytime there's an FFA, you always got to be careful about those guys who are almost dead, but not dead. Fire sale is beginning. It looks like Spam might be out of the game. He might be alt f 4 himself as his last particle cannon goes down there. And Spam has been defeated. It's now down to Cloud and EA. GLA versus China Nuke. GLA Toxin versus China Nuke. Who will reign supreme? Another War Factory coming up. 
the distance between these two guys extremely close. <laughs> this is so many stinger sites. Oh my gosh, this guy is not spending his cash on an army. He is just dropping it on black markets and stinger sites. He is as entrenched pretty much as you can be. And I think we might have to wait for the two minutes on the clock to count down. How is Cloud going to try and close this one out? He's not even calling in his helixes. This is just power overwhelming from Cloud. He has got so much stuff. Is he really going to try, like, the flank with all of these nuclear overlords? I think he might try the flank over here on the left side. Ooh, Marauders. Don't see a lot of Marauder tanks. Always love to see them. I always enjoyed playing with Marauders uh, against AI. You know, you lose if you build them against people. Well, when you're me, you lose. I guess I actually, no, I have seen some good players build Marauders and win games with them. But uh, Scorpions, more common. Lots of MiGs here from Cloud. Aircraft, I feel like maybe they were a little underrepresented in version 0.21, but in version 0.3, aircraft feel really strong. Maybe too strong? with how powerful the splash can be on some of these guys. Another black market is coming up here. So <laughs> what happens when you have money, you get more money. Cloud, 38 seconds, one minute on the clock for these nukes as he's clicking ever closer to being able to fire them off. Toxin Rockets are here to hit that first Overlord, and Cloud trying to micro his units back to absorb a bit of damage. And I think he might just be trying to draw the army forward. The first nuke has been fired off, and the first group of Stinger Sites have been eliminated. Anthrax Bomb gets dropped. 30 seconds, 7 seconds on the clock. Helix is moving over to the left side. The minimap just a wash with flanking units and the the coming fire of the nuke. EMP locks down those black markets and the helixes come over the dead army that was standing a moment ago the last nuke will fire off and the last bastion of hope will disappear as ea's base falls to ruin the helix is over top just bringing death and destruction to every inch of this base Overlords closing in, Cloud with the victory within his grasp has done it in style as well, bringing forward these Overlords, bringing forward those nukes and just absolutely raining destruction down upon this GLA base. Oh, the backstab. There in the, in the corner, the MiGs find the damage though. The Rebel Surprise unable to win and EA has been defeated. Cloud takes the game. And that'll do it for this five player FFA. I've got some more Gen Evo action coming your way. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And this is Cyber signing out.